Well, Peter, you don't seem to have very many people here this morning. What's gone wrong? Well, a, a large number of them have gone off this morning early by car. This is the first time we've actually rendezvoused in Norwich before going off to um, uh, the march. Have you ever been in a march of this kind before? Um, yes, um, in the last Aldermaston march. What were your impressions then? Um, very convincing. Do, do you feel that there could be more enthusiasm for a march like this for people living in East Anglia who, after all, are surrounded by American bases? And I, I think so. It, it, it's very surprising the uh, very weak response that we sometimes get. The uh, um, more active groups normally um, uh, come from London and in the Midlands. Where will you be sleeping? Uh, in, in schools. And um, I believe that um, we're sleeping in a, um, a swimming bath uh, on the last day, that is. <laughs> what about food? Well, um, some organised attempts will be made each day, but um, by and large we're um, providing our own food. Excuse me, um, how do you feel about going on a march like this? Is this your first one? Yes. And what made you decide to go on it? Well, I've always believed in unilateral disarmament, and um, I felt it was about time I did something about it, you know, something active rather than sit by and watch others. And what did your mother and father think about you going on this walk? Well, they didn't think very much, but they're going to let me go because I now believe in it, and, you know, they've had their doubts. So.